has been removed from the official YG Entertainment website. It's a sad day in the K-pop world, and particularly for Iconics, because B.I. is no longer the leader of the K-pop group Icon. This is an ongoing story where in the past 24 hours, a lot has happened. Comments down below your reaction and how you're feeling about this. B.I. did make a statement on his official Instagram. This is Kim Hanbin. First of all, I sincerely apologize for causing trouble with my inappropriate behavior. It is true that I had previously wanted to rely on things that I should not have had interest in because I was having such a difficult and rough time, but I was not even able to do it because I was afraid. Nevertheless, I am extremely embarrassed and sorry towards all of our fans and our members who are deeply disappointed and hurt by my wrong words and actions. I will humbly reflect upon my wrongdoings and withdraw from the team. I sincerely bow my head in apology once again to our fans and our members. I'm sorry. There's a lot of things that can be covered and I'm probably not going to get to all of them. We're not going to get to all of them. There's a lot of speculation in part because there has been no police investigation investigation about this. And it did happen in 2016, these cacao images that have been released by Dispatch recently. This is a three year old story. There are a lot of Iconics that are really upset. In fact, there are over 500,000 signatures on a protest. Change.org, a petition. Yes, to try to reinstate BI to Icon. According to his Instagram, it says that he withdrew himself from Icon, but then I get the feeling that YG Entertainment terminated his contract, so which is it? Both. It is both. He stepped down, but YG did terminate his contract, and it left a lot of people saying, there must be something more, what else is going on? And this is where the facts start to blur and you start to get into a lot more speculation. I've noticed that the media is speculating certain things like for instance, on the cacao chat, he was chatting with an unknown person and then recently the media has revealed that they think it's a female K-pop idol. What's her name? Han So Hee, who's not an idol, but was a trainee. And you may remember her name. Do you know why you would remember her name? I, I tell me. Top. Oh, she, she's... <gasps> yes. Top's ex-girlfriend, when they were investigating her, supposedly she named Rob B.I., said she delivered 10 tablets of LSD to his home, and then she backtracked to that because supposedly her lawyer went on to KBS News and was telling them that YG had basically threatened her and had offered to pay for a lawyer for her if she took back her statement on BI, which she then chose to take. One of the reasons that there's been no police investigation into BI specifically, well, there's actually several reasons, but if you understand Korean law, they, the police and the detectives like to go after people that they know they can prove did drugs. If for instance, B.I. did take LSD, say he purchased it and took it, there would be absolutely no way for the police to fully prove that he did ingest LSD because it is not one of those drugs that you're able to detect in the body, unlike marijuana, unlike cocaine, which have half-life lengths of time, like for instance, marijuana is about a 30-day inside your blood system before it completely goes away. Cocaine is 72 hours, but LSD is not. And so therefore, when they heard about this, since it was years later, they knew they weren't gonna be able to ever prove that he did it, and so they never investigated it. However, because there is the text messages, they could prove that he did solicitation. They could book him on solicitation, which is the act of offering or attempting to purchase goods or services. Even if he didn't purchase them, attempting to. Attempting to purchase drugs is a felony. Who? Say for example that when YG found out about this, they tried to cover it up, they tried not to do anything, and tried to like keep it on the down low because B.I. is such an important person for them. He's such a great songwriter. He has 53 copyrighted songs to his name. He is part of the Songwriting Association in Korea. He's credited for that many. He even has six number ones. So he's a great person to have. They don't want people to know that he's doing drugs. They want to keep that hush hush. And maybe there was something that they had discussed with him beforehand because all of this is kind of being wrapped up so quickly that maybe they knew about this. They tried to keep it under wraps and it was kind of on the assumption that if this comes out, this is what you're going to do. And 
you're on your own, buddy. I think the big thing to realize is as big as marijuana is seen as a problem in Korea and with K-pop stars, LSD is on a whole different level of bad drug mentality in Korea. Yeah, they are still reeling from copying the United States drug laws verbatim, and they just decided in their own mind, the entire populace of Korea that is, that laws are meant to be followed, they're not meant to be broken, and now here in the United States, we're seeing that some of our drug laws are ridiculous and that they don't need to be so harsh on, for instance, criminals who've committed crimes with marijuana or related to marijuana. B.I. being the leader, he's a really smart guy. I mean, he was just actually looking for some depression help himself, I believe. Icon was really struggling to make it big in Korea at that time, and this was right around the time period that they switched over to Japan. 2016 is when they started promoting in Japan, and they've had a lot more success in Japan than mm. they ever have in Korea. The Icon actually has their tour coming up, and the remaining six members will be promoting and touring still starting July 27th in Japan. I was really sad investigating some of this information for the video because in looking at B.I.'s Wikipedia page, it was updated yesterday saying that he has withdrawn or that his contract has been terminated. He's no longer the leader of Icon. And that's just devastating to me. And I'm not one that gets emotional often when it comes to K-pop stories, unless something's really gone wrong. Hallucinogenics are starting to be decriminalized in cities in the United States like Oakland and Denver, and there's going to be a landfall in the future of this medical drug that does help severe depression. They're starting to prove it. This is more of a helpful drug than a hurtful one. I know that this audience is sort of split. They caught him doing something illegal, and so he has to step down, and YG is... <laughs> a lousy organization at this point. With a lot of problems. Comments down below if you're an iconic, if you feel really bad about this, if you're feeling like he shouldn't have stepped down or his contract shouldn't have been terminated, or if you're in favor of him no longer being a part of Icon, let us know down below. What are your thoughts on this whole debacle? Do you think that there shouldn't be so much he said, she said? Are you angry at Dispatch? What are your thoughts? Click the like button. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Holly Back. And don't forget to subscribe for more Holly Back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.